Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and only people over the age of 14, welcome to Universe Sandbox. Uh, two? Yeah, two. All right, next. I don't care. But what I do care about is this purple planet here. You say it's not purple? Look right there. It's purple. All right. Uh, can I? Uh, this is Earth. Okay, yes. Everyone, I, by the way, what I'm doing. Oh, God, I'm blind. Don't stare at it. Don't stare. Well, we got rid of it. Click on tools. Yes, I'm trying to do that. By the way, so this is a universal sandbox. Uh, let me just do new. Yes, close guide. I'm fine. Let me go. Where am I? Who am I? All right, new. There's nothing here. Here, here. Anyways, uh, by the way, I should maybe have sound effects. Everyone's gone. How did this happen? I don't know if you can hear that. Anyways, so, pause. What I'm trying to say is, if you want to make an apple pie from scratch, you'll have to create a universe. So let's do that. Also, this is my new computer. I wanna see how badly I can push my new computer. So, what do we have? Some of these I haven't seen. So, flyby of asteroid 29. Okay. Uh, tidally locked Earth. Ooh, that'd be interesting. So, that means the Earth, only one side of the Earth is shown at a time, which means half of the planet's frozen half the year. So, duh, 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 duh. so that means that should be moving here. See, I lived there in that frozen corner of the country. So, Arizona would finally have some precipitation. All right, how do I tie? Okay, close. Let me focus in on the sun here. Switch focus. There we go. Oh, boy. So again, I just want to mess with stuff. So where was the big one? Random database. Where was the one where we had... Oh, here. Let's explode a bunch of... Oh. Imagine how bad the tide is here. Oh, God. No. 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 Oh, look at that. My computer's handling like a champ. Better than the Earth's handling this. So by the way, the interesting thing is, since there's no sun's gravity here, I'm assuming there's no sun's gravity, yep. This is just happening in the vacuum of space. So eventually all this stuff is going to collapse onto each other. And the Earth should be, yep, 1.12 Earths. So it's going to be bigger here in a second. Give me the full rundown. So it should be ga gathering mass here any second. I mean, look at this moon. Moon 51. Moon 51 is giving the mass by Earths. I mean, moons. It is... Oh, no, it actually lost. So, yeah. We should have a bunch of things crashing into the sun here. I mean, Earth, Earth. So it should be getting bigger with each explosion. I mean, why don't we shoot some stuff at it? Uh, tools. Uh, let's toss. Oh, fireworks. There we go. Fireworks for everyone. Woo! All right. Anyways, focus on it. Focus on Earth. All right. Maybe we should shoot something at it. Um, add uh, Mercury. I've had a bunch of Mercuries here. I could add a Jupiter. Anyways, let's, let's stick with small planets here. Let's see if we can make ourselves a Jupiter. Again, I want to see how much my computer could handle all this gravitational mathematics. I mean, look at that spin. Woo, Nelly. And again, all these should be collapsing back on this object. This object right here, 
which we shall now call come on focus on this this up oh, oh, no focus back on what we were once called earth all right now is it somehow still has the continents there you go it should be a complete mess it is average temperature it is again hot enough to melt metal and it's already six masses of the earth now here's all these objects some of them have been flunged out hello firework how come you're not being attracted Ooh, look at this moon by the way this is going to come crashing in is this a moon or is that a firework so we got the two biggest objects here mars one the marses we have a red moon and it's rising again this is how the blood moon happens in zelda there we go. Crash into there. Then you notice how it actually, if it gets close enough, it actually heats up some of the planets. Pretty accurate. So there we go. Look, by the way, it's all traveling through space now. Can you come back? Baby, come back. You could blame it all on me. By the way, let me. I could decrease the temperature. Let's have the average temperature be. Uh, 90. Bam. See, now we cooled down Earth, even though it's being heated up by all these weird little fragments nearby it. And it's already up to 280 degrees. How long before this Mars l bumps into it again? Because it's getting close. I mean, look at its trajectory. And that should knock it off a little bit. All right, so what else do we have here? Let's launch a... Oh, what do we want to launch? Pluto! Just tiny bits of masses here. Let's have Pluto circle Mars here. Now, the gravity in this is amazing. Because, again, it's circling here, but then the, you see some of it being pulled off. Ah. Oh. Let's have it orbit both of these things. Oh, look at those orbits. And again, the gravity of these things are pulling on Mars, slowing it down. So that means this Mars, whichever one it is, should eventually just sink right into it. But some of these are also dragging it further away. Come on, hit. But again, this is still not the most that this can do. By the way, how big is Titan compared to... Oh, I thought Titan was near Earth size. Uh, how about... Kepler? Oh, here we go. Kepler's about that size. See? I'm pulling it wherever it's way I want. Wait a minute. Kepler's a dense planet, isn't it? So by the way, you are no longer Earth. Actually, you got technically you became Kepler. So we shall rename you. You are now Bob. Now Bob is 0.5 of a Jupiter, which is 160 Earths. Then again, I just threw a bunch of Keplers at it. So we still have a Pluto here. Look at this mess I made. Oh, I love it. By the way, to really mess it up, uh, Jupiter. Again, as big as that is, that is only still half the mass of Jupiter. Now, if I put Jupiter over here, look at that immediate change of gravity there. Everything is, oh, look at, oh, the, I love this mathematics. And Bob, I don't think is going to last much longer. Remember who's your orbiting Jupiter? But again, this became the heaviest thing over the strongest gravity well. So everything's going to be actually going towards it. Until, you know, I add a bunch of... 
other Jupiters. You know, just a bunch of them, just for fun. There goes Bob. By the way, at some point, fusion should be happening. But remember, Jupiter is just a lot of gas. Look at all of them go. There we go. Woo! Come back to me. Oh, look at the destruction. I am just making, how fast are we going? How about steel? <laughs> oh, that is amazing. And my computer hasn't slowed down yet. Collapse into each other. Oh, look at the speed. Hold on. <laughs> All right, maybe it's time to clean up. Sun. Again, all these are traveling awfully fast. So even though I just added a massive amount of gravity to it, it's gonna take a while. So maybe, you know, fuck your calculations. Oh, supernova, supernova. Yeah, that's one way to cover up your mistakes. Another way is to make a black hole. Okay, now my computer's finally chugging a little bit. Maybe the math of adding hundreds of suns all of a sudden into massive supernovas. Yeah. So by the way, this is 66 AU. That's... I forget what that is. Uh, let's see. By the way, a galaxy. To put in perspective the distances we're dealing with. Uh, oh, geez. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, that's a black hole. Oh, no, that was a... So if I just put a black hole right here... Well, that takes care of a lot of issues. Yep, nothing survived. Bob got eaten. All right, fine. Enough of that. Let's go. Let's start anew, shall we? Uh. Oh, by the way, this is an actual... And don't start. Pause. So, this shows you that the distance between the Earth and the moon right here is literally enough space to put all the planets in our solar system jupiter saturn neptune uranus all of them fit between the orbit of the earth and the moon so that's how far we have to travel by the way let's see what happens Alrighty, righty Uran uh neptune's getting hammered yeah, you can see, look, again, gravity right here is pulling apart the planet. Oh, it's beautiful. Venus is being uh, eaten already. Oh, no, excuse me. By the way, what, this is happening in seconds. The Earth is already fudged. Uh, how much hotter is the sun now? Oh, uh, yes, again, this explains it here. But that's fine. The Earth is now... Uh, average temperature of 42. I mean, that's not horrible. But you can see a little bit of... Oh, is that just the lights? Hold on. 
There we go. So which one do you think they're going to keep the name of? Did you not let... Oh, come on. You mean they're not going to fall into each other? By the way, to put this all into perspective, if I add still, here's the sun. So that's still the size of the sun. Everything disappeared. Supernova. All right, fine. By the way, where is the galaxies colliding into each other simulator? Here we go, this is the one. This is a classic. So about four billion years from now, make plans, our galaxy and the Andromeda would collide. Now you can see the actual black hole in the center of each. But I can't mention how massive this is, much less this is uh, two, a million year per second. There, the black holes, see how they just stoop? And how everything moves around them. Oh, that is amazing. But yeah, that is clearly the point. Ooh. Now again, I think it's going to form just not a spiral galaxy like ours. I think it's going to be more of a cloud. But the sheer amount of math in this is amazing. Oh, this is amazing. All right, cool. All right, so what can I do? Human scale. Physics. Uh, planets, Earth and Moon. Hello, Earth and Moon. There's the Moon. So, what can we throw at the Earth? Let's start with something simple, shall we? I mean, let's not flow, you know, actual things at it. Let's do a pool ball. So, where do we want to hit? What if we do a bunch of these things here? Oh, that one exploded. By the way, uh, let me keep this up here. I want to see what happens. So you can see the average temperature. So tools, add. Dang it, that goes away. I want that to stay up. Um, dice. Mass, 5G. Nothing happens. So how do I make you bigger? A D12? Oh, no, yeah, wait a minute, where's the D20? Here we go. Pigeons attacking from space! That's a 12-sided dice. Pigeon, there we go. Pigeons attacking! All right, how do I make you bigger? Uh, Let's see a pigeon orbit Earth. How many pigeons can I get to orbit before they form their own planet? Their planet of pigeon. Oh boy, my voice. Earth has its own ring of plan. <laughs> wow. By the way, this is how satellites work. Nice. So, we got all that going on. How about long swords? To help kill the pigeons. You know, I could actually make this a bit more ring-like. Now, notice, actually. Are they forming... Ah, they're not... Well, they kind of are gravity strong, uh, gravitationally strong enough to do stuff. Great pyramids. So we have pigeons, long swords, and pyramids orbiting the Earth. At some point, I should be adding enough mass that should really do something. All right, how do I actually make these bigger? Where are my tools for these things? And then I could also launch. Take that! Pigeons attack!
Oh. Well, something happened to the pigeons. Who knew pigeon blood was that dramatic? Wow. That's a lot of pigeon blood. I might have fucked up the planet. I can launch the roaster. Send it back to Eli. Eli, excuse me. Tesla Rosas, roasters for everyone. That's a lot of destruction. Good thing it's electric. Eh, a little nuclear winter never hurt anyone. I can't click on the earth through all the, there we go, earth. So the size, oh, there you go, radius and mass is all one. That's fine. Okay, that was weird. Why was I getting that weird information? Anyways, all the pyramids are still orbiting fine. So, how can I clump them all together? How about we do some Halley's Comets here? So we have comets, pyramids. I'm trying to create a second moon. And I'm doing a horrible job of it. Pigeon, no! I mean, I could just try... Alright, so let's go out a little bit here. So again, there's the moon. What if we had a second moon? Like Pluto. Orbiting within. How's that go affect the gravity of these guys? Like say, what if I had Pluto there to mess with the gravity? That should start pulling some uh, pyramids its way, right? Or what if I just put a one pyramid in the middle of all this mess? Just every so often I see a pigeon. There we go. You can see, look at the mess I'm making now. Make me a new planet! There's some more pigeon blood. By the way, let's speed this up. So there you go. You can see it sharing out the wheat. By the way, the earth is toast at this point. Or at least it should be. Average temperature has gone up a little bit. Uh, that speed. Where's temperature? Here we go. Actually, it hasn't. It's doing surprisingly well given the amount of shit I've just tossed at it. Now again, with each one of these spray of blood, less and less pigeons are orbiting the earth. Eventually, if I speed this up enough, you see it gets really crazy. And I love the fact that my computer's still holding up to this. Oh, look at that art. All right, now my computer's finally starting. Oh, there we go. All right, let's slow it down. Slow your roll. Man, look at that. By the way, we uh, haven't really lost much in the time of days. Then again, there's nothing for it to orbit, so. We have pyramids and pigeons and long swords everywhere. Now, eventually, if I speed this up enough and just let it play its course, we should have less and less items. 
By the way, average temperature has gone drastically since there's a lot of pyramids crashing into the earth. By the way, how's the moon doing with all this? Oh, look at the... Holy cow, we've sent pigeons off to the farthest reaches of the universe. By the way, where's the moon? Oh, the moon's still there. The moon's doing fine, kind of. So, this is part of my plan. I'd like to help you... I'd like you to help me out with my Kickstarter project to send pigeons to Pluto. I think it goes something like this. Now, I don't know how much it would cost for me to send thousands of pigeons orbiting the Earth and then to send a Pluto-like planet. Again, I would like to get Pluto, but that's only if we reach a stretch goal. Uh, anyways, have Pluto itself go there. Look at the spin on this thing. By the way, there is something right there that is orbiting the Earth like... Look at these three things orbiting the Earth like a... I mean, like a... Oh, there, it crashed. Yeah, these things are right on Earth's ass. But look at this. And every so often, something gets thrown off into space. Look at the beauty. Pigeons will reach the outer limit. What the hell is this? Look at this. The Great Pyramid... Again, aliens... We want you to have these pyramids back, so we're sending it back to you in the most efficient way we know how. By the way, the global temperature has come down. So most of humanity has perished at this point. The ones that are left are enjoying a toasty average temperature of 137. By the way, that's average. So that means the high is probably somewhere in the thousands. By the way, you can still see Pluto there. Look at that spin! Faster! Oh, that is a thing of beauty. That is an absolute thing of completely drunken beauty. Look at it! It's like an atom! That's what atoms are! Anyways. So by the way, we eliminated mostly everything except for these little, look at that. That is so fascinating. So, uh, let's actually pause. So, Pluto 1, Pluto 2, uh, Pluto 2 is here. So those are the two Plutos. Now this was the original orbit of all the pyramids, pigeons, and long swords. But look, with Pluto here fleeing out all of the random shit, there's been one, two, three, four, about four-ish rings of stuff created through the gravity pull of this Pluto and that Pluto. So all the le all the materials left, which probably actually, honestly, if I slow this thing down to uh, play, there, these are probably just individual pigeons. They're all that's left orbiting the earth so one two three four yeah four pigeons are all that's left that is extremely fascinating by the way the planet's fucked it's now average temperature of minus 175 let's warm this planet up a little bit shall we uh let's see what's the best way to warm up the planet uh let's shoot some uh, hydrogen, sure. That should warm it up, right? By the way, this is like almost real time. So let's speed up a little bit here. We Can I like add fire? Oh no, I don't want to add uh, tools. Fireworks. Can I launch fireworks? Did I set that pigeon on fire? This pigeon's on fire! Alright, come on. Not what I meant. Uh, tools.
All right, let me see what Earth is. Earth is still frozen, minus 70 degrees Celsius. All right, so let's add some... Actually, let's just make it warmer. How about 45? Bam. You are now instantly warm. See how long that lasts. But that's so fascinating. Again, the math that works out in this. To where all these random things gets tossed out. And by the way, some of these are actually... Uh, why are you in mass relationship? Okay, some of these sort of collided into various things. By the way, how big are you compared to Pluto? Um, you are... Alright, for funsy, where's the moon? I didn't kill the moon yet, did I? Moon, moon. Moon? Moon. Has anyone seen the moon? There's another great pyramid of Giza. Oh, there's the moon. All right, moon, how are you doing all this? Did you get any mass? Mass compared to the moon? Nope. So how about I make you the same mass as the Earth? Bam. So now we have two objects of the same mass orbiting each other. What will happen? Well, Pluto's kind of fucked. And... There's some more pigeon blood. Again, this is kind of like the two black holes orbiting each other. Their cycles should get closer and closer. Until all the fireworks are gone. Again, I can just do this all day. Alright, so here we go. One, two, cha cha cha. Three, four, cha cha cha. Five, six, cha cha cha. So this eventually becomes a binary object. Like binary stars. So the question is, do they ever lose enough energy, which eats cycle, that they're going to fall into each other? Because, by the way, Pluto's gone. I don't know if Pluto got shot off into the wilderness or got eaten by the Earth. Or, nope, the Pluto's still right there. I see it. Pause. Yep, there's still one Pluto there. I think the other Pluto got eaten up. By the way, how are you doing, Earth? Earth is still one mass of the Earth. All right, continue. So how fast can we go? By the way, that other, Pl look at that Pluto. Oh, there it goes. So yeah, that Pluto got chucked off into space because it got too close to the moon. So eventually these two should fall into each other. Now, one thing we can do is add more pigeons. Or we can add some more objects. How about Mercury? Just to mess everything up. Look at that. There's the moon. Where'd the Earth go? Earth! Earth? Does anyone see Earth? I think I might have sent the Earth. No, it's right here. Oh, look at that orbit. Hold on, let's slow this down. So again, they're still in binary orbit. I just sent enough mass to send them both going in one direction. That is beautiful. Oh, that is amazing. Ah, oh, Sham, I'm gonna to have to kill it with Jupiter.
There goes everything. All right, time to clean up the only way I know how to. Uh, do, do, do. Here we go. And clean up. Bye-bye, pigeons. Everything shall be nice and clean. See? Nothing's left. There's no evidence at all of anything that happened that should be noteworthy. There were never anything like earth and pigeons. The last longsword. Can you survive? You can't. But again, I just wanted to see. All right, so what can I play that can really test my system? So explosions, explosions, explosions. What's fiction? Ultimate engineering solar systems. What's this? I've never seen this before. Oh, is this? Wow. Okay, that's impressive. That you guys can actually do that and not have them oh there you go collapse into other chaos all right um all right so we have the explosion supernova in a universe supernova sun solar system so pause our sun will never experience a supernova right anyway so this is what happens if it did look at that this is hours per second so in two hours by the way, let's go backwards. Can I go back in time? All right, let's go actually. Because I want to see something here. Let's do this again. So supernova solar system slow. That's what I want. So here we go. This is pause. This is a minute per second. Can I do a second per second? 